welcome to CS230. This is lecture 22 and this is lesson 3 and we're continuing with our development of our single page application and that uh, consumes the RESTful API that we generated last week and we've already talked about how we need to add some additional routes um, and controllers to our existing API functionality um, using Express and we've seen how we might use and uh, a, a template um, to, to display the data that's passed and extracted um, from the, the RESTful API using handlebars, but we haven't actually looked at the view yet. So here, this section, we're going to, we're going to fix that and, and go through it. So, um, so temp handlebars, again, as I said, is our, that's our template engine, um, and it can pass, you can see we can pass data to that um, engine using the, the render um, function, um, and we're going to actually pass it um, a variable called um, results, We'll fix that, okay? So, um, and, and and once we have that, then we're able to manipulate those data, okay? So here's a very simple view, okay? So this piece of code here, this this is the view that will handle all the table um, display in our in our data. And I guess that's the only bit that we're working with in terms of rendering the information from the RESTful API. If we go back and have a quick look at this, you'll see that you know it happens in here in the table. So this part up here is outside of the table and this is outside of the table, all the searching functionality. So we're just going to work at seeing how we can generate this from the results. Okay. Um, so let's look at that. So we are interested in using Bootstrap and we're interested in using Font Awesome here. So we include those assets, you know, as we have those assets here. Okay. And um, we set up a container and you can do all sorts of fancy um, stuff with Bootstrap in order to do that. I'm just saying it's a simple container and um, I have a header, which we we have already and seen this, it's it's nice. And um, this is for the badge that we used for, for we update this badge when um, we make a search, so a database search. Um, and uh, this is the table okay so it's a very simple table um it's got um we're using the bootstrap elements to, to provide hover functionality and we're telling it striped um, and we're giving an idea an id to quotation this because we need to manipulate it manipulate that a little bit later for example we need to know which what the table is and where the table is so we can hide some of the roads so we can do that a little bit later okay so so I'm creating um, a header here, and I'm just saying that 60% is given over to the, um, the quotations and the author, and then we just uh, leave the options, whatever's left, okay? And um, we could fix that as well if we want a little bit there. It's 15%, okay? Um, and you can change that. That's the headers. And then so this part here really is where all the, the good stuff happens in terms of the templating. So what happens here is the body section of the table contains rows and each row then will be there will be a row associated with each um, entry in the results object okay and so we know that this um, it's called results so this each this hash each um, command that sits within these double chain brackets which is how we set up our template and um, the start of a, a, a an, iterate, an iteration block and this is the end of the iteration block which is slash each and so what happens then is that the template will just repeat all of the information that's in here for every single item within the or, or row, if you like, you know, um, in the results list. Um, and then what will happen or, uh, is that it will find a quotation within results. So it's like, you know, with results, find this quotation. And then it'll find order and it'll place those inside the cell and inside this cell. And then... Um, and these are data that we want to be able to pull out as well. So we know we had an ID field because these are buttons here that we use up for updating and deleting a little bit later. So if we're updating and deleting, we know our SFL API requires us to be able to have an ID. So we're going to save the ID in uh, an attribute on this, um, on this uh, uh, link um, called ID. We're going to save the quotation as the quote and, and we're going to save the author as as data author. So these are attributes that we're just saving as well. So we can access we can access them a little bit later. Um, you know we can we could access the text but we're, we're really more interested in dealing with them as data. And then um, same here. So this is for our delete button because remember when we if we go back to our app we saw that every single row has an update and a delete. So when we click this button we want to be able to take this link this is it looks like a button it's it's actually an anchor field but um we can we can click the each either one of these and then we can pass the data to the event handler okay so that's really that deals with the click um, and we have one down here as well for that as well 
Okay, and of course, this is a different one. This finds is attached to the search box. So really, what's happening here is that the templating functionality really just hinges on this iteration over the results object. Um, and um, and that's using this block here, this iteration block. And that's all you really need to worry about in terms of templating. Then once you have a result and you're in that block, you're able to access the ID, the quotation, and the other fields. Straightforward. And as I mentioned already, the options buttons here are... Um, uh, that's for updating and deleting the individual records. They're, they're not actually functional, okay? So you can implement that function later um, when we look at attaching the jQuery on click event handlers and the boot to, and the models and all that kind of stuff. You'll notice that they have a class update and delete here. Okay, and then so every single link or button across here will have this update and delete. So we know um, we'll be able to locate those buttons uh, for the purpose of adding the click functionality. So if we have 100 of these lines of code, then we can add the same click handler to this class rather than to this individual link. And that's really key, crucial here. You know, we don't want to be adding lots and lots of handlers. We just add handler for the class update and the class delete and then they that handler when it's clicked each one of these it'll pick up the id that's associated with it so it's really nice um as i mentioned already the header up there has an empty badge okay um and that badge really we'll use that to update when we make a search we saw earlier that when we made a search this is the badge that's attached to this Okay, so we're able to um, to update that a little bit later. And what we do actually in order to make that happen is we just have a little bit of JavaScript code in jQuery that looks at this um, location details and it extracts the last part of this. Okay, and it just puts it into the badge space um, that we have, which is just in here. So we, we've given it um, an ID database filter notice. So we just look for this. And then we replace it, replace the contents currently empty with the location. And that's how we just make the badge happen. It's nice. And um, so what you can do, what I've done really is I just for practice purposes, you can take this view and you can save it into a say simple um, uh, quotations underscore simple dot um, HBS and make it work. So let's just check and just show you. You can easily change the views. So here is where everything happens in terms of a view. So let's have a look at, um, and I have one called simple here. It's quotations view. Uh, let's have a look and see. I have here's a search view. I think I probably have a simple one as well. So let's just open it. Yeah, here's a simple view. So yeah, and that's just copying the code that's in here, in here, and saving it into our views. And now we'll go back to our controller and make it simple. Okay, save it. Now I need to restart the service in order to be able to mark the work. So it's running here down here and let's run our server so our server is quite happily running here and then we go back to our code and let's now you'll know that all everything else is missing i don't have the search functionality i don't have any of that stuff here in fact i don't even have the click functionality here I've, nothing is nothing is working okay that's okay that's what we expected because the simple view doesn't do anything else and um, it just um just sets it it's here there's nothing else okay very very simple view so we need to start incrementally building that view so the first thing we should do probably is then work on on adding all the search functionality as the as the um as the next option so we can go back and see that um before we move to the next lesson let's have a quick look at the code okay so this behaves exactly as we would expect because currently you know where we have this link and then we nothing happens when we click the link okay just calls nothing we really need to attach some update handlers to make that work and we want to be able to um of course we don't have anything that works up here in terms of the badge we've no javascript to do this um, and uh, we also have no search functionality so we'll um we make that happen in the next lesson thank you for watching